Here's a question I know a lot of you know the answer for. Who remembers the VZ-61? You know what the VZ-61 is? Well, I think you know by another name. The Scorpion. Yes, that little SMG that a lot of us thought were at was Soviet, but in reality is Czech. Much like, the much like the gas masks that we see, which are blatant copies and or improvements on a copy, but who knows, you know? But, in thinking about that gun, I remember the fond memories I had with it from, well, Battlefield 2, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, when Call of Duty started going down the slippery slope of bad. And then, of course, Black Ops 1, the only good Call of Duty, in my opinion. But, sad to say, this does not do it justice. Welcome to review 8 of 12 of 12 Guns from Hell, UK Arms. Oblivion. In the teeth of a killing machine With a need to bleed you when the light goes green Best believe I'm in the zone to be From a yin to my yang to my yang to see Put a grin on my skin when you come to me Cause I'm weird, I'm a one of a kind And I'll bring death to the place you're about to be Another river of blood running under my feet Forging the fire did long ago Stand next to me, you'll never stand alone So yeah This is a Springer One-sided you can actually take the bolt out. The bolt comes detached with the gun. You have to actually screw it in there. It's magazine fed. All polymer except the buttstock, which then again the buttstock's horrible. The trigger is floppy and when you do yeah. And the buttstock itself, I'm just going to say this now, it's horrible. Because in reality, the actual VZ-61 buttstock goes down, not up. Because if you try to shoulder it like this, there's a problem here. Do you see the problem? I see the problem. I really do hope I did not just break that. Well, it's a little wobble, so whatever. So yeah, let's go ahead and do us all a favor. Take this buttstock off. You can basically do whatever you want with it. Also, yeah, I found out the reason why the buttstock is so bad. Look at that. Just just look at that. Horribly uneven. Even when I attempt to make it even. Yeah, that's just not good. Also, yeah, the magazine wobbles, by the way, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's see. Does that keep that together? No, it doesn't. So that's really no worth it. But note. But! The better part of it is you can make this into a sling point now. And I gotta love the screw they used. Look at that. It's, it's a pretty... I don't know if I want to say it's a decent little screw, but it's it's, uh, it's alright. Anyway. Let me just go ahead and pop this back on here. That way we can use it as a sling point. Because, hey, if you can use a sling point, if this thing could use a sling point, it's this. Okay. Now, the actual gun itself is made of entirely polymer, as I've said before. So, yeah, that's, uh, there we go. And we'll, uh, you know, have a little sling point for your little plastic UK arms, what have you. The magazine itself is actually pretty decent. It does come with a pretty decent capacity. It is actually closely modeled to the real steel uh, VZ-61. And uh, to make it easier on you, and I'm dead serious here, to make it easier on you and loading the magazine, you want to actually, well, one, do that, but you can't just ram the fucker home. No, you actually have to press the actual magazine release to make it a little bit easier to actually get the thing in there, which, by the way, yes, it is a high cap. The charging prime is not that bad. 
And what I find hilarious is there is no tactical, or at least to my knowledge, there is no tactical scorpion, simply because of the ambidextrous charging handle on it. But tell me, why are there two posts here for a Picatinny rail? And before a lot of you say, oh, it's not for a Picatinny I looked. There's the tactical version of this. It does exist. Speaking of something for sights and what have you, the sights on this, non-existent. Like, I'm not even joking. This and this are your sight posts. Yeah. And I gotta love how they actually did this. That's adorable. All of it is 100% polymer. The only metal parts I can only think about is the spring inside of this and the screws, as well as the stock. That's the only metal on this thing. What's sad is the price is even worse. You think this is probably, what, five, eight dollars? Well, yes, in most flea markets, when you find them there, yes, they are that price. Then tell me, why the fuck does this thing sell for $20 online? Plus shipping and handling. Really, you motherfucker? Really? 20 goddamn dollars for this thing. Uh-uh. $10, I can believe. $5, I can definitely believe. 20 whole dollars! I just can't. I just, I can't. I cannot. I just cannot accept the fact that this thing actually does sell for $20. But you know what? I basically have said anything and everything I can. I just, let's just go to the chrono and range because honestly, I just want to get this over with. I really do. I want to get through this hell as much as you people do. Let's just get this over with. Okay, so we are out here. Ready to chrono it. By the way, this is what it'll look like if you actually uh, do the slow. Got the magazine loaded up. Let's see what the FPS is. Making sure it didn't double feed. Let's check. 157. Five shots as per usual. 157. Oh, didn't feed. Let's try that again. The hell? Huh. It's having feeding issues. 157. There go. 150, 158. And... 157. Okay, so we are having a consistent range of about 157 to 58 FPS. So yeah, as for the feeding issue, that's definitely something you're going to want to keep an eye on. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn you guys around and see what we get on the range of this sucker. And then we'll go to groupings test, okay? Okay. So here we are about 60 feet out. Let's see if it'll do 60 feet. new that dropped about five foot out so i'm gonna have to take a guess and say about 55 feet is your best now let me try it angled see if it'll do angled shots mm -mm. nope not even all right well we got about Four rounds left. I'm gonna load up a couple more in the magazine, and we're gonna take some groupings of our uh, zombie target. All right, all right.
Oh yeah, it's not looking good for this gun. It really isn't. It's a two hour. It's garbage. It is just... During the shooting test, I had to literally hold the barrel because... The big were just going all over the goddamn place. My shots were not even landing center. Hell, even holding the damn barrel, they just weren't doing anything. Goddamn! And before a lot of you ask, no, I will not do a modification guide on this unless you want me to. Because the reason I did a modification guide on the M16 is because a lot of you... Because I was really curious whether or not it'd be moddable and whether or not it'd be savable. And ironically enough, it was! So yeah, if you guys actually want me to do a modification guide on this little thing... Say so in the comment section down below. As for everything else on the other hand, don't fucking get this gun. Just don't, okay? Just don't. And you know what? I am doing pretty damn well through the whole fucking review. I did not drink at all. I didn't drink one bit. M16 and the other one, yeah, I drank a good bit on that one, but I didn't drink once for this gun. I was steadfast. What the fuck is at my feet? Oh no. Buy our merchandise. Support the channel. See you all next time and review. Whatever, you know, I I just